Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, I'm doing a comparison of the Nexus 4 phone up against the Nexus 5 phone. Uh, some of you might be wondering what's the point of doing a comparison video, considering that the Nexus 5 is a direct upgrade from the Nexus 4. Uh, I guess this is mostly useful for people that own the Nexus 4 and are wondering, should they buy a Nexus 5? Is it worth it, um, whether they get it from Google Play or not? Um, so what I'm be doing is just a general comparison. If you guys want to see a lot more, you know, information about each uh, phone, like the exact processor type, the exact dimensions, all that other good stuff, um, you can find their individual video reviews or um, videos in which I do gaming demos on each one. You can find all those videos, uh, their links, in the video description. To simply expand the video description, you'll find a whole bunch of links. You can watch separate videos for a lot more detailed information. Uh, for now, this is just a quick comparison, so let's start. Uh, the first thing I'm going to show you guys is the LED notification light. Um, from on, on camera it's a bit hard to notice but with my own eyes I can see the Nexus 5 is slightly larger in terms of brightness it's a little bit brighter but it's more that it's just slightly larger so the Nexus 5 has the better LED notification light in terms of which one is the most uh, mobile or has a better mobility uh, it's gonna be the Nexus 4 it's just you know a little bit smaller as you can see up here uh, down here it's about the same in terms of thickness they're relatively the same um, in terms of width the Nexus 5 is just marginally bigger like hardly noticeable uh, but yeah the Nexus 5 is slightly taller but that's because uh, it has a larger screen now in terms of weight the Nexus 5 is slightly lighter um, on paper if you look at the weight uh, I think this is 130 grams this is 139 grams but even just holding it, it you know considering the size of the Nexus 5 I'm really surprised at how uh, light it is compared to the Nexus 4. Not by a huge amount, but just because it's bigger, I'm surprised. But, uh, in terms of brightness, they're about equal. I both have them at the same brightness level. Um, because you guys are watching this on YouTube, it will compress the quality of my video a lot. So to see the clarity, it's one of those things you have to see in person. Both of them look fantastic. So in terms of screen clarity, the Nexus 10 wins, but just by uh, a little amount. In terms of RAM, both of them have 2 gigs of RAM, so there's no real winner there. It's pretty much a tie. Okay, some of you might be wondering how is the general speed and responsiveness. Uh, this is the Nexus 4 I'm playing with. Uh, it's still very snappy. For a device that's a year old, which is, you know, a long time in the mobile industry, it's very snappy still, very quick. However, the Nexus 5 is probably the fastest device I've ever used. Um, I believe it has a similar chip as the Note 3, but uh, the, the, no, the Nexus 5 has stock Android. There's no extra fluff and junk in there in terms of software. So in general, responsive speed is the Nexus 5 is better. However, the Nexus Store is is still very very fast. Now I like to say that the best way to push a phone's um, speed capabilities is by playing high graphic Android games. Now the Nexus 4 despite being a year old is still able to play the top Android graphic games uh, you know without much of a hitch but um, in terms of the Nexus 5 it's probably the best gaming device ever used for Android. It's just so unbelievably smooth. The graphics are fantastic. So in terms of general speed and responsiveness the Nexus 5 is better. In terms of the processor speed and GPU, um, it's the Nexus 5 wins yet again. I'm not saying the Nexus 4 is bad, but the Nexus 5 is just too awesome uh, in that regard. Both of them have the usual uh, wireless connectivity. Both of them have an NFC chip, Bluetooth, DLNA support. Um, oh, there's one key difference. The Nexus 4 officially only supports up to HSPA uh, plus speeds, whereas the Nexus 5 officially supports LTE speeds. Uh, but, you know, continuing on, both of them support 802.11 ABGNAC Wi-Fi uh, capability. Uh, they both have Miracast and GPS. So because the Nexus 5 has LTE capability in that regard, in terms of connectivity, it wins. So what I'm going to do at this point is give you a very quick uh, speaker demo comparison. Um, I'm going to play the exact same video from my YouTube channel. Uh, both phones have their volume maxed out. The Nexus 4 speaker is here at the bottom. This is actually a microphone, it's not a speaker. The Nexus, sorry, the Nexus 5 only has one speaker here. Um, so that's that one. Oops, let me just switch this over. Whereas the Nexus 4 speaker is here at the back. Okay, so let me start with the Nexus 5. Both of them on max volume with the exact same clip playing at the exact same uh, time moment. For 4.4 they might not have the same system but for the most part it works like this. You open up your Hangouts app and here you have a list of contacts you can add more. Okay so now for the Nexus 4. Android 4.4 they might not have the same system but for the most part it works like this. You open up your Hangouts app and here you have a list of contacts you can add more. Oops you can search Google. Okay so because the Nexus 4 has this 
speaker at the bottom uh, when I it was kind of muffled but when I lifted it up the sound was bouncing off the desk and back to the camera and my own ears so clearly the Nexus 4 has the better speaker in terms of battery life uh, the Nexus 4 in a day and a half I get about an hour and 15 minute call talk time with the screen on for about an hour more or less with web browsing you know checking Facebook all that good stuff whereas the Nexus 5 in a day and a half I will get about an hour and a half to an hour and 40 minutes voice call talk time and I would get I could keep the screen on for roughly an hour and a half to an hour and 45 minutes so in a day and a half I'm able to use the Nexus 5 a bit more than compared to the Nexus 4 but not by a huge amount so in terms of battery life the Nexus 5 is better now in terms of storage okay uh, the Nexus 4 doesn't have it too great it comes in 8 or 16 gigabyte internal memory uh, which 8 gig is pretty pathetic, but the Nexus 5 comes in 16 or 32 gig um, internal memory. Both of them do not have a micro SD card slot, so they have no external memory options, just internal. So if you buy either one of the 16 gig, obviously it's a tie. Uh, in terms of the 8 gig version of the Nexus 4, it, it loses. And obviously the Nexus 5 has the 32 gig option, which is a bit more expensive, but you have that additional memory option. So overall, in terms of storage space, the Nexus 5 is better. In terms of general feel and comfort, uh, it's pretty tough, very close. Uh, both of them are quite comfortable, but I have to say the Nexus 5. Um, the thing about the Nexus 4, which makes it nice, is that here at the side, it's really difficult to see. You have a straight edge, then a diagonal diagonal edge, and then it goes straight at the back. And the back is kind of a, you know, a glass material. Um, so it's quite comfortable. The Nexus 5, however, it doesn't really have any, you know, curve here. So it doesn't really feel as comfortable in the hand compared to the edges that kind of mimic a curve. Uh, but the backing here, I, I like a lot better. Uh, that's just a personal preference. I prefer this smooth back texture a lot more. So it feels a lot more comfortable to hold. In terms of which one is the better multimedia device, well, overall, for the most part, it's the Nexus 5. Um, it has a slightly sharper screen, but not by a huge amount, but it, you know, it is a little bit better. Um, if you have the 32 gig internal memory, then you have more storage for more multimedia content. Obviously, if you, if you get the 8 gig version, then the Nexus 4 is pretty much, well, terrible. <laughs> but uh, not only that, there's, there's one thing that does give the Nexus 4 an edge, is that it has a slightly louder speaker, of course. Overall, if I had to choose which one's the better multimedia device, I would say the Nexus 5 because it has a better screen, it's a lot more faster processing video game stuff and content, but the speaker on the Nexus 4 is better though. In terms of which one has a better software interface, uh, I'm going to keep it as a tie because they're both running stock Android, except the Nexus 5 has the option of going to the far left screen to access Google Now. Personally, I don't really like that because you have the option to tap it from up here, uh, you have the option to swipe from the home button up, but you know, that's just me. Uh, the Nexus 4, I, I don't have that option to access Google now from the far left screen, but in terms of general like styling and design of software interface, they're both running stock Androids, so in that regard, it's pretty much a tie. Now, phone call quality, they are both phones, let's not forget. I would have to say the Nexus 5 is significantly better. It's got one of the best um, earpieces and microphones here at the bottom when, you know, person on the other end tells me, they like, it sounds great. So in terms of phone call quality, the Nexus 5 is much better. In terms of exclusive software features, there's not much difference here. Again, they're both running stock Android. They're both Nexus devices. Uh, the Nexus 5 has a slight up compared to the Nexus 4 because if you're on the home screen anywhere, you can always say stuff like, okay, Google, and then, you know, there, see, Google now opened up. Uh, so there's not much difference, but because of small little additional features, the Nexus 5 wins, but not by much. So if you had to ask me my personal choice, which one is the better one? Remember, this is my personal opinion. Obviously, I would have to say the Nexus 5. In almost every regard, it's better. Uh, one thing I didn't touch base on, which I want to mention, is the camera quality. The Nexus 5 has a slightly better uh, video recording capability and better camera for, for photos compared to the Nexus 4, because the Nexus 4 camera overall is absolutely terrible. It's horrendous. However, the Nexus 5 camera is still nothing to really boast about because it's still not that great. That's always been a problem with Nexus devices, that their cameras are under par compared to the competition. But, you know, the Nexus 5 camera is slightly better. And again, overall, the Nexus 5 is almost a direct upgrade to the Nexus 4, except for the speaker, which isn't as loud. But I would personally choose the Nexus 5.
In terms of which one's the best bang for buck, well, it depends because the Nexus 4 is no longer available on Google Play. Uh, but if you were to compare the prices, I believe the Nexus 5 was slightly more expensive when it released compared to the Nexus 4. Um, but you know, if you go to a phone carrier, if you have to get it through a contract, if the Nexus 4 is still available, most likely to be zero dollars, which is cheaper. Whereas the Nexus 5 might cost you a bit. Um, but in terms of general bang for buck, when they each released, I guess you say to make it fair. It's pretty much a tie. Whatever device you choose to be the better one, which should be this one, uh, is up to you. Um, you know, you're, it's all about your personal preference and personal choice as to which one you prefer. Uh, but that's my comparison video. So if you guys want to see how to unlock the bootloader or root, uh, the review for each phone and all the other good stuff, be sure to check out those video links in the video description like I mentioned. Uh, if you found this video useful, be sure to check my Facebook, Google+, Twitter links in the video description as well. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe and thanks for watching.